Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the first violin part in the first section. Um, and first of all, I'm going to do some fingering work on this. So this, the first thing is start this in second position on the second finger. And stay there until there. The reason for that is really those E's um, are, at the top E's are melody notes. If you do it in first position, they're on, either, they're on a weak fourth finger. If you do it in third position, which is the other kind of obvious way to do it, um, the top notes that lead into them are on a weak fourth finger on the A string. It's actually nicer, I think, if we, if we let the, the E string project the sound slightly better. But then I would come down into first position. Because for the second time that run comes, um, the E in bar 12 is it's just, a, it's just a quick quaver. You can even do that on an open string if you tuned nicely. Um, the other thing fingering wise that um, I'm doing at the end of that phrase is I'm moving up on the D in bar 13. I'm moving back up into second position. <clears throat> I'm doing that for two reasons. You don't have to do that. You can stay in first. Um, but I'm doing it for two reasons. One is that it gives you slightly stronger fingers to play that turn. And a nice strong second finger in bar 14. But it also means bar 14 at the end of the bar, I want to move into third position. And I'm just closer. I don't have so far to move. And at tempo... start of the bar there but it the smaller the moves that you have to make the easier it it is to do it so again as with the, I said for the second violins and violas I would start this at quite a slow tempo um, 104 even 96 might not be an unreasonable tempo to start at in the first violin part so this is 96 Do that a few times, then move it up to a couple of notches at a time. So 104, then 112, then 120. And at 120, the, the bow will start to do the work for you. But what you're aiming for is to really listen for the intonation, get those scales beautifully in tune, um, get the phrasing beautiful as well. So those, those, those melodic notes um, are, are sweet even without vibrato. So you can use a little bit more bow length but by doing it slowly, you're keeping bow control throughout and you're making your right hand work to control the bow. Once you get up to speed, the bow will run away with you slightly. Um, so the, the point of doing it again, as I said to the second one in the viola, when I looked at their parts, the point of doing this really is to uh, establish control over the bow so that when the bow then do, when you then get, do get up to speed and the bow is, is tripping along and doing all of this lovely work for you, you still have control over phrasing. So, at, at speed. It should sound nice and clean like that because you, you've got control over the phrase. So, those really a few fingering suggestions and just really practice solely for intonation for the first violins.